Welcome to Practice Better. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through setting up your one-on-one -on -one services in availability. To set up your services, go to My Practice, My Services, and click on the red Fast Action button. From here, click on Add a Service and select One-on-One -on -one Service. Now let's take a look at a previously set up service to give you an example. Let's start off with the basics. First, you'll want to give your service a name. Then you'll want to add a service description to give your clients more information in regards to working with you and what this service includes. You'll also need to set your service duration time. If you already have a disclaimer created, you can attach it under the Terms and Conditions section. Your terms and conditions should be used to notify your clients of your policies or any instructions regarding the service. A disclaimer requires your client's acknowledgement by requiring them to check a checkbox. Keep in mind, this feature does not include collecting a signature. Under Payment Options, you can indicate the service fee and change the currency if required. Depending on your subscription, you can also collect a full payment or a deposit at the time of booking. Next, you'll want to set your service availability. This setting will determine which options are available for the service for your clients to book. You have three options to choose from, in person, by phone, or online video chat conducted through telehealth. Under the booking options section, you can set a buffer time before and or after your session. This functionality is useful to prevent back-to-back -back bookings and can be configured to give you time to complete your notes between sessions or travel to your next location. In this section, you can also restrict how close before an appointment a client can book a session with you. In this example, I prevented my clients from booking six hours before the appointment time slot. You can also restrict your clients from booking too far into the future. In this example, I'll restrict my clients from booking within 30 On our page plans, you can integrate your Practice Better account with Zoom. Under Telehealth Application, you can indicate if you want your service to be conducted through Practice Better's Telehealth, which is free for you to use, or through your Zoom integration. You can also select Other if you do not plan on using either of these available options. This setting is applicable to all sessions booked with the online video chat service method. In the section right under your booking options, you can change your default buttons to include some customization. You can also include a redirect URL if you wish to redirect your clients to a specific page after completing the booking process. You can use this section to redirect them to a thank you page or back to your website. Under the booking restrictions section, you can choose to make your service public or private. If your service is set to private, it'll prevent your clients from being able to book themselves by hiding the service from your default booking page. This is a great option for practitioners who want to have more control over their bookings. Under the Notification Options section, you can customize your email notifications to send to your clients for this particular service. If, for example, your service has specific instructions for preparation, or you want to include a thank you message, you can use this service's custom notifications to relay this information to the client. Lastly, under the Session Reminder section, you have the option of using your default Session Reminder settings under My Schedule, Booking and Cancellation settings, or to create a specific session reminder sequence for this service. Now let's take a look at your advanced options. In this section, you'll be able to customize your displayed fee. You can use this section to advertise your coupons, or if you offer a payment plan, you can advertise the monthly price instead of the full price. Under this section, you'll also have the ability to collect credit card information at the time of booking. This is a great way to save a credit card into your client's record for future purchases. Under the Payment Plan section, you can create a payment plan option for your clients. Click on Add Plan, enter the deposit amount you wish to collect, and indicate the installment price and the frequency in which you will collect the installment payment. You can also create more than one payment plan option if you wish to offer more than one option to your clients. You can do this by selecting Add Another. If you require an application form to work with you or you want to collect a signed acknowledgement of your terms and conditions, we recommend creating a formal waiver and adding it under the Booking Page Forms section. You can attach up to three forms or waivers and clients will be required to complete these forms before completing your booking process.
Lastly, if you're working with insurance, under insurance billing, you can add your billable units per session. Once you're done, click Save Changes to save your progress. Once you've created your services, you can then set your availability. To create your availability, go to My Practice, My Availability. You can create your availability in two ways. One is you can click on your intended start time and drag to your intended end time. The other option is to click on the Fast Action button, select One-on-One -on -one Services, and then manually enter your time. Once you've selected a start and end time, you can choose to set your availability as a recurring time slot. You can then choose the days of the week to repeat this time. Next, you'll want to enable the services you wish to offer during the availability period. Click on the toggle beside the service. This will indicate whether this service is available during this time slot or not. If you have multiple methods of conducting the service, you can select how the service will be conducted on a given day. If you work out of multiple locations, you can also decide which location you'll be working out of. Once you've set your service availability, click to save to save this time slot. You can always adjust your availability by clicking on the availability slot and adjusting the start and end time and adjusting which services are available. You can also click on the delete option. By selecting delete instance, you remove the availability for that particular day. If you select entire series, this will remove your entire recurring availability. Lastly, you can determine when you want to send your session reminders to your clients. To do this, navigate to My Schedule, Booking Cancellation Settings, under Session Notifications. If you're on the Pro or Plus plan, you can choose to send both email and SMS text reminders. You can set up to three different notifications to be sent, which can be a combination of email and SMS reminders. When creating a reminder, you can also choose to send yourself a reminder as well. Once you're done, select Save Changes. This concludes the video on setting up services and your availability. Please check out our Help Center for more information and resources.